By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a hit flash effect that looks something like this. In my scene here, I have a simple player sprite. To get started, select the sprite, head down to materials and create a new shader material. Select the material and then create a new shader. Open up the shader script by clicking here and delete everything inside. Next, click the first link in the description, which will take you to this paste bin link. Select the code and copy it, or just click this copy button here. Head back into Godot and paste the code into our shader. I won't explain the shader code to you in this video, but I will show you how to use it. You can minimize this code, select our player, and add an animation player. Create a new animation and call it Flash. To create our Flash animation, select our player and then select the shader's parameters drop down. At 0 seconds on our animation, we want to add a keyframe for our flash value. Next, we're going to go to around 0.5 in our animation track, change our flash value to 1 and add another keyframe. To finish it off, head to 1, put the flash value back to 0 and add a final keyframe. If we now set the track to 0 and play it, we should have this flash animation. You can change the colour of the animation by selecting the flash colour option, changing the colour wheel and selecting the colour. I want my flash colour to be white, so I'm going to set all these to the max. We now play our flash animation again, you can see that it is white. This flash animation is kind of slow, so let's speed it up. To do this, we can move these points closer together. I'm going to move the middle point to be 0.2 and the end point to be 0.4. As my animation ends on 0.4, I'm going to set the end here to be 0.4. Now all you have to do is play this animation whenever the player takes damage. To show you how to do this, I'm going to switch to this scene. Here I have a simple button that will take away the player's health whenever it's pressed. To make our flash animation play, select our animation player and rename it to something like flash animation. Open up our player script and at the top here, we're going to create a reference to the flash animation player by holding control and dragging it in. Now go to the part of your code which damages your player, for me that is right here. We can use the reference that we just created to call the play method and play our flash animation. We can now save this and run the scene. If I click this button here, it will take health away from the player and play our flash animation. And that's it, if you want to know how to create a player health bar, consider checking out this video on screen.